Hello, everybody. Start streaming. Hello. Alrighty. Uh, right, okay, so we set up the pogification station for the iron. And then... What was the other thing I was going to do? So we have some electric furnaces, which I'm realizing I should have set up this thing a little bit differently, but that's okay. Um, right, because this was all to make uh, circuit boards. Sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to come over here and do some stuff with some wood. Why is this in there? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't do it. No, my auto trash is full of things that it maybe shouldn't be. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, refined flammables. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, I was so uh, I was so annoyed with myself when I got home today. I uh, it's a, you ever just like you get home and you're so tired you, and then you realize you did something really stupid. <laughs> uh, so like I, lock your keys in your car. Or, uh, like I mean, what it, degree it, of stupid my, are we talking? My, my, <laughs> that that's a very good question. Uh, much less horrible than locking keys in car. Um, okay, good. So like I was making rice to go with this thing that my wife made uh, for dinner, and. Um, you know, I, I like I went and I did a couple other things, and I, I went back to check the rice cooker to see if it was done, and I hadn't put the goddamn top on. <laughs> oh, so it had been heating and just like open yeah. to the open yeah. air, not pressurizing or anything. Yep, yep. So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, am I gonna? Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna eat it the way it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, it's it's not that bad. It, it's. It was just like that moment of like, I did I really just do this? <laughs> and the answer is unfortunately yes. Uh, let's see. So the greenhouses just take water, right? And power? I think they should, yeah. Okay. And power, yes. I only have to put water into one side of this thing, and it's fine, right? Uh, yes, they do pass the water through. Sweet. Oh, so uh, I know we had talked about, like, you know, possibly discussing some stuff about uh, Tunic. Um so uh -huh. I've, I've gotten to the stage where I've gone, like, full Charlie Day conspiracy theory mode. And, like, I'm writing things down in a notebook. Like, notations uh -huh. of, like, what kind of crazy shit can I possibly think of that might actually be true? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I mean, notebook is best book for Oh, yes. Tunic. Oh, yes. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, so, like, you know, I've got this... I have like an entire page that's just me going through the book and looking like the, the, the instruction manual and looking for yeah. all the pages that have like a little golden drawing on it that doesn't really uh -huh. fit and then noting that down and like, like trying to put them all in context together. Yeah. Like, so I have this feeling that like, so I feel like that and the, um, what the hell is it called? Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, if we do fertilizer, we could make... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm getting off track here. Um, uh, <laughs> so I feel like that and the tuning forks are somehow connected. Like, that the golden path is, like, connected to the tuning forks. But then, the more I think about it, I'm like, is that the case? Because... It keeps saying, like, Golden Path, Holy Cross. And I'm like, okay, we figured out the Holy Cross is the freaking D-pad. So mm -hmm. what if all it is is, like, I just have to put it all in context and, like, figure out the order that it's all supposed to go in, right? And then... Uh... <laughs> do uh, the D-pad? And that's it? I don't know. 
but I'm trying Maybe. to figure it out. I'm, I'm not doing a great job, but I'm doing a job <laughs> figuring it out. There, up, there's a, a lot of, like, cryptic hidden stuff, and I, I sort of forget what order things happen in. Ah. <clears throat> so I don't want to give spoilers. Um, I ended up quitting the game before I finished it because there was a boss ah. that just was too hard for me. How'd you freak out Cat today? How'd that happen? The, which, which, oh, uh, oh, it, it, let me get, well, I guess it might be a boss that I haven't seen yet. Um, probably, I'm, how far into the game are you? So, I beat Fox Mom, and the game was like, yo, you got more shit to do, and I was like, oh. Um, so, like, after putting all three colored... Yeah, I, I put the keys the in the Hoobajou. I, I fought uh, uh, Fox Mom as a ghost and died, and then I re remade myself into Meat Fox, and now I have defeated her. Uh, and all is right with the... I mean, it, things aren't really right, but they're, they're going somewhere. You might have gotten farther than I have then. Oh, okay. Because I think it was Fox Mom that... that was my just oh, like she was very tough I, I can't do it and and like it wasn't the sort of thing where I could learn how to do it it was just I needed to be pog enough to overcome the cheese and I wasn't about that yeah yeah I, I, I can totally feel that because like I don't know in in games like tunic I feel like if you're just like if it's just not happening then it's like it's just not gonna happen you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not like Dark Souls where it's like, oh, well, let me try a new weapon or let me do this or let me do that. It's like, you know, there, there's like a there's a hard limit of of uh, of what can be done. Yeah, yeah. And there were some <clears throat> some bosses in Tunic that that I could sort of learn their patterns and get better, like um, the pirate lady with the um, cannon and the exploding barrels around. Like, I learned how There's to deal a... with her. What? <laughs> like, down in the creepy area with all the, the like... Oh! Oh, the Scrapper Lord person. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, that... I, I love that boss. It was, like... It took me a lot of tries, but... I felt like I was getting better each time. As opposed to Fox Mom, it was just, like... Okay, I've 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 learned how to avoid Guess one quarter of Sano. the things, That's and everything horrible. else just wrecks me. Yeah, I I have to say though, the scrapper area, fucking like, oh, that area was getting to me so bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it like it just it, the constant like health drain and all that? I was like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, when you finally get the gas mask, though. Oh my god, yeah, that was just, that was like the greatest moment ever. I felt so good when I finally got the gas mask and I could go into the stupid, like, purple poop sauce area and be like, take that, motherfuckers. <laughs> neener <laughs> I live. and also neener. <laughs> I love the sense of mystery of that game. Oh yeah, it's so good. You know it's Tuesday and not Wednesday. I had no idea and thought it was already Wednesday. What is time even right now? So <laughs> I did Couldn't no killer, tell but ya. yeah, not not for the reasons that you might think. <laughs> I only know that it's Tuesday because I know I didn't have physical therapy today and I have it tomorrow. That's the only reason I knew. And also I had to go into the office today. So I guess Tuesdays are like the only days where I'm like, I know what day it is. <laughs> I got a free taco because it's Tuesday. Ooh. Where'd that happen? Uh, Taco Bell. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. I, I like, do love me some Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I call it trash food, but it's really quite good. Yeah. Like, the ingredients are clean, and like, unless, unless your particular gastric fauna have issue with the formulation of Taco Bell's filling should be fine oh yeah 
definitely. Yeah, it's, it's like if I were to do like a fast food tier list for me. Oh god, I just almost got run over by a train. Um, I would I would put Taco Bell at the top for me. I didn't tell you any of this, but I basically had something where one of my toenails was either gonna get better or fall off, and it fell off, so I don't gotta worry about it anymore. And her response was, you had a toenail falling off and went about your day like nothing was happening, and it fell off, and you're happy. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I can see where she's coming from. So now I have 200 more solar panels. Um, I was going to say something and now I completely forget what it was. Crap. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, wait. Uh, Tunic related or something else? You know what? I actually don't remember. <laughs> so do we have Fair enough. Space. 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 Iron beam. Auto core. I'm going to put down a factory for something at the mall. Sounds good. Just to make these. And to do that, I need a... What kind of chest is it? The requester? Yes. Yeah, requester chest blue will help you feed things into an assembler. Cool. So now you just wait. So, like, your toenail actually fell off, Xano, and now you're just waiting for it to grow back. That's what's going on. Friggin' insects, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to make a pass down there and go refill all that shit. Maybe reinforce it a bit. Because I've been trying to, like, whenever I come back, I've been trying to put down more solar panels. Power more lasers. Yes. That is Select. exactly the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like, I, I mean, I, so I, I had this girlfriend a long time ago who hated wearing shoes. Like, she would walk around her neighborhood completely barefoot, and I was always like, aren't you worried about, like, broken glass? And she's like, no, my feet are hard enough that it doesn't matter. And now I kind of get it, because, like, I too hate shoes, but also I'm kind of like, I probably hate shoes because my shoes are garbage. <laughs> hmm. I got a pair of slip-on sketchers that I love. They're I have to so like they're bouncy. Ooh, that sounds nice. Like they have amazing arch support, and they're not like literally bouncy, but it just it feels like I'm walking on just something really soft, no matter how hard the surface is under my shoes. Nice. And like because they're slip-ons, they have no ankle support, so I would never go like bouldering or uphill downhill hiking. Oh yeah, them, yeah. Partial New Balance—they always make my feet feel good. I so I, I feel like I need to get more info on like shoe brands. New Is Balance it? has a really good reputation for orthotics and and like stuff that is like above and beyond for certain types of support and um like they don't they don't look cool they're not like a pair of air jordans all right but they will be healthy for your feet gotcha so like i'm about to practice my very minimal french on you for a second here qu'est-ce que c'est mm. orthotics <laughs> Keska say orthotics. Um, yeah, so basically, orthotics is anything that is like helping your feet be in the right position. Ah. Or I, and I, I don't know if it's just feet or also like legs and back and stuff. Um, yeah, because it sounds like the root is like orthopedic or like ortho, which yeah. ortho just refers to bones, doesn't it? Or right? Or, yeah. Ortho ortho means like in the same direction. So oh, like orthogonal. Or mm, no, maybe having to do with direction because like 
Orthogonal means kind of like per perpendicular in math. Okay. Um, but yeah, os osteo would be bone. Oh, true, true, yeah. I mean, the basic black New Balance, kind of, they're, they're good looking shoes if you're not looking for, like, high fashion. I kind of love that, Zano, that you just kind of, like, took a comfy slipper sole and just dumped it in your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> like, there, that'll fix it. <laughs> and it did. Last solution. I do here. Oh, I guess I put this too close. Eh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? It's ruined forever. Yeah. We love it anyway. Yep. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Actually, I feel like, or no. I, so I, I had a pair of slip-on Skechers. Actually, I had two pairs of slip-on Skechers some time ago. And I remember yeah. liking them quite a bit. Um, but... I, <sighs> All right, okay, so I have a request for these guys. So I'm sure. um, I forget why it... Oh, right, one of them just completely wore out. But I mean, like, I've been wearing them for years. And then uh, the other ones, I think they also wore out, but like... They were also the ones that um, got me looked at dirty when I was in France. Because <laughs> uh, um, my my sister in law and I went to uh, this museum of architecture, and uh, so they've got these really nice polished like marble floors, and these shoes ah. have like uh, foam discs on the bottom for support. Uh -huh. that are also really squeaky on polished surfaces. <laughs> so I was walking around trying desperately to not make noise, and the whole time everybody's just hearing, squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> oh, <laughs> beautiful. It was so bad. Oh. But it is a story we tell all the time because it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, as my dad would say, why do I gotta spend money if I got two pieces of garbage? I can make one slightly nicer piece of garbage. <laughs> I love that. I'm just realizing I totally forgot to go refill the turrets in that area that I said I was gonna do that on, so I'm gonna come back and do that. I think I might have repaired some of them as I was walking by. Alright. Since I added, uh, like, 200 more solar panels and some more, um, what you hope it says, the, the, what are called? Uh, accumulators. I'm also gonna slap down some extra turrets. Sounds good. Oh shit, I just realized I totally forgot to limit the chest that's making the greenhouses. <laughs> Can I have a thousand greenhouses? Yeah, it's like, man, why do we have such a huge supply? Oh, right, I forgot to put a limiter on that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, we're doing uh, Barrow Trauma again tomorrow if you want to join. Uh, I might be busy tomorrow. Like, ah. if I'm not, I'll try to join. But Sweet. hopefully, that's okay to sort of like decide. Yeah. In the moment. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, like, Death and Company are really chill people. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, they're just going back for energy. I was like, what the hell? Oh, things are enough not on fire to actually, dude. Uh, yeah, me too, killer. Me too. Because you guys, you said you guys are basically done with smoke testing, right? Oh, dude, you're, I'm sorry to hear that. You just got a headache from the stress, or like, what's going on? I'm not going to run over by another train. I keep telling myself. Um, like two stacks of greenhouses is probably more than enough, right? Uh, probably. Okay. And especially if that's the limit on the chest, like, as you build them, it'll refill the chest. Hmm. Or, like, as you pull them out of the... So, wait, did you... Oh, no, you did... Okay, never mind. I was like, did you put a, a request out for uh, greenhouses as well? But, no, I, I just realized that the bots had already brought me all the greenhouses that were in there. 
Okay, so where was that attack that happened? Oh, shit. Ah, I see the artillery wagon is uh, making its way yeah. in the world today. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's parked too close to this particular base. Ah. And so I got to deal with the base manually. Bumping the microphone. these guys in, but first let's take them out so that I can put in more. Should do it there. Except I think we might need some in these little crevices here. Oh. Or that's not gonna work. Oh, that totally works. And then we can do like so. We had, uh, we had things on fire for real today, and now I gotta teach all these fuckers how to actually use a fire extinguisher, because nobody but me did. So yay, I work with very competent people. Isn't it pass? Pull the pin, aim at base, squeeze the handle, spray that shit. <laughs> I think that is it. Also, it should be written on the side of the fire extinguisher. Yeah, definitely. BG3 story is just a chef's kiss. I believe it, dude. That game looks like it's sick. The writers for Larian know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to get BG3 at some point. I just want to make sure that Comcast has calmed down, which I'm very, like, optimistic at the moment, like, cautiously. What the hell? Oh, bugs. Because, mm -hmm. um, like, for the past, like, week and a half, all my streams have been fine. Oh, good. And I haven't had any major disconnects, which is a huge change from previous. play more played up and I only really play with you noter I'm getting restless dude we, we do need to play more played up absolutely you need to pound dough <laughs> it's <a> good game <laughs> that's a very interesting way to put it my friend I need to pound dough <laughs> I mean punching down bread dough can, in real life can be a very a good stress reliever yeah oh, yeah yeah take that dough to pound town and I'm sorry I said that but it had to be said <laughs> it had to be said <laughs> So I guess it's more of a sorry, not sorry, but here we are. <laughs> here indeed we are. All right, I'm just gonna make a big fucking bridge across this lake. Okay. This guy's doing okay. I think we're still okay on. I'm hoping we're gonna make it through the night. Maybe I need. To... Uh, let's see. Power, power, power. Three point six. Okay, so I need to put down more accumulators. Is what I'm seeing. Let's do that. Alright, learned for... I'll get my dough pounding urges out in three hours. Oh. Why well, found this recipe for no need white bread to make it home? It was delicious as fuck. Let's go. What? That can't be right. What do I have for my... Oh, I have... Oh, shit. Okay, well... Then again, I guess each of these is... How many is this? Okay, yeah, each of these is 120 accumulators. That makes sense. <laughs> I mean, dude, that is that is the initial intent of bread. 
is as a vessel for delivering butter to your face. Hmm. Yes. I mean, like, there are some really pog-ass breads in the world that you don't need to do that with, but, like, regular-ass bread? Put some freaking butter on that shit. Butter is so good. It really is. Like, it, it's one of the things that, like, you know, sometimes, like, like at work, uh, when we have, like, pizza or something, and people be like, oh, do you want some pizza? And I'm like, nah, I'm good, because, you know, I'm lactose intolerance. But, like, if somebody's like, you, dude, do you want bread and butter? I'm like, okay, let me take some, uh, uh some lactate for that shit because i need it <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like my brain was just like whatever beano is for lactose yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, a more accurate sentence has not been said <laughs> and like beano is miraculous in its own oh my right God. it is wonderful Where the, what the fuck is that is that bullets i think it is okay I just, this is one of the things I love about robots is like, sometimes you see a bunch of bots going by and you can kind of like intuit the story behind what they're doing <laughs> based mm -hmm. on what they're carrying. <laughs> oh yeah, they're going to the mall. cow o, -O. No, it's definitely not cow o, -O. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know what for cow shits? <laughs> Bovi Bovinios. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's what lactate is from here on out. Just Bovinios. <laughs> oh, shit. Killer, if you play Tunic at some point, I am going to be all up in that shit, I tell you what. I am... I, I adore that game so much right now. The business will be upends. Oh yes. Ovinio sounds like a cow cereal. It does, it does. Frickin' jerks, these bugs. Now they're attacking that damn it. Well <laughs> They were <laughs> covered the most that. of the bugs. Uh oh. The, the wall's not in so good shape, though. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to set up a couple uh, exterior turrets for that. Trying to survive and get literally any mental power to streaming it. Yeah, I feel you, dude. I, I was I was in that shape last week. It, it's weird, though, because, like, you know, um, I feel like for me, like, this is, is streaming uh, and streaming with friends is how is, like, one of the many ways that I get, like, sanity back after mm. working and whatnot. And it was just, like, when I don't have the energy for that, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know something's really wrong. Yeah. Yep. What the heck? Oh, damn it. Freaking water. Where's my... There we go. I need to get a filbert. Closest we can do right now is probably cars with stuff in their grids yeah oh that's right because we can do like tanks that have robo ports oh okay okay honestly I think that's one of the coolest changes that they made in this mod pack is that yeah, you can basically like make the, like the ability little... to grid up yeah see it's almost like you can have a spider tron but not really I, I feel you, killer. Fire at the workplace, my hand on fire, technically a glove, and 25-pound bo 25 box of copper fall from two shelves up and clonk my forehead, and it gave me energy? That's crazy, dude. And that sounds like rage energy to me. When things hit my head, I am mad. Oh, yeah, same, same. 36 months? That's Jeez. three years, dude. It is. <laughs> Yay! I love when things hit my head. Wait, what? No. <laughs> that can't be right. That can't be right. 
This is a mistake. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, I, I'm trying to think of exactly how many of these greenhouses we're going to need. Because, let's see, a greenhouse makes wood. 40 wood for 60 seconds. So, like, two-thirds of a wood every second. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, so... We'll need... Oh! It's so basically, it's like... I mean, it's not one per factory, because it, it, this needs one wood for two seconds. So it's like 0.5 wood. So you need fewer greenhouses than yeah. you have assembling machines, right? Yeah. Exactly. Quite a certain amount. set this up over here so you've got one two three four uh why the gap in between for walking i think okay i don't remember all right <laughs> fair enough fair enough it was forever ago i think i think for some reason it aesthetically pleased me to have four and then a gap and then four makes sense God, I love cliff explosives. They are wonderful. Frickin' go away cliffs. Laying all this train track. Uh oh. Boobs. How are they inside the frickin' wall? What? What the heck? I love that there's just one little jerk ass just running around in between all the mines, like not actually doing anything, just freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Thought we had that pretty well sealed up. Turn on your swamp cooler? What the hell is that? Swamp coolers are pretty cool. They don't work too well when it's humid, but um, they basically um, use evaporation to cool things down. Oh, my wife just got one of those not too long ago for our bedroom. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like... Um... So well, yeah, I mean, they work great. Described. <laughs> Colorado, Arizona, any anywhere that it's not typically humid. Yeah, I think this is good. But like here in New England, I I tried one and it, it it cooled things down a little, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't really worthwhile. See, like I I feel like. Um... I would love Colorado because I hate humidity with a fiery passion. Like it is it is the thing that makes me the most miserable. Like on a humid day, I get out of the shower and I immediately start sweating again and I'm just like I hate everything right now. <laughs> yeah, see just even the thought of it's just like fuck it, I hate it. Or like uh if you ever have long facial hair, like I got in my car and you know, I'm I like looked over to my left to make a turn and then I felt a drop of sweat <laughs> hit my arm and I'm like, "What?" And I feel in my beard and there's just like whatever swamp ass is for your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
don't like it. I am very sorry for painting that picture, but also sorry, I mean, not sorry. It's true. So, something sometimes things are so terrible that you gotta share. Yeah. <laughs> Swamp ass for your face. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Take a shower on yep. Wednesday and be dry by Monday. <laughs> your brain needs to not have thoughts. I'm sorry, killer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to expand the cursedness. Actually, that totally works. I'll just put a pipe in there. I don't need to do this other weird shit. Put a pipe? Easy peasy. Yeah, that's right. Heck, those probably don't even need to be far apart, right? Yeah, so like I only did this so that I can actually have the um Oh the power poles. Yeah, the uh what the fuck are these things called? The substations. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope I don't get run over by a train. <laughs> the new hit single by Ali Astra. <laughs> And also, literally anybody that plays this game. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh man, I found uh, the songbook, the the joke songbook that I, some coworkers and I made like three or four jobs ago. Uh, we had a a fake. Um, oh gosh, what was what were the descriptors? It was it was a rock band, but there were like it was like electronica indie funk something but we would just like make up song names and like incorporate random shit that we said in the in the company slack i love this so much already <laughs> and i'm trying to remember some of the good ones one of the song titles was uh private entrance to a public space <laughs> just like weird ass like nonsensical crap like that <laughs> oh my god are we making centrifuges yet i don't think we are i want to make some fuck yeah xano i know that i am my most degenerate when i'm feeling better hmm <laughs> that's i like Way to way to be. I... Yeah. Listen, I, I I take pride in my degeneracy. Hmm. It's 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 worth taking pride in. Yeah. Sure. All right, bugs. What are you doing? Just the song that shits the bed because it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started playing it, and it's called Wonderwall, and now everyone plays this shit. And fuck me, let's be done. All right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do the prompt good? I, I think I think you might have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are making... Let's see, let's do this, uh, 16, 32... Oh, okay, so that's 32. Um, so basically... The, Attacking the uh, what is that? Oh, New what? Iron mine. How dare! How in the hell did they even get there? Did I not? Oh, maybe I didn't finish the wall. It might be that hole that I blew in it, honestly. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, or they're going know. across my freaking rail bridge. Poop sauce. I will uh, I will deal with this in a second here. Alright, I'll 
these are repaired now, yes. Ow! Ah! God! That's why. Okay, I was like, what the hell happened? I got all slow for a second. It's because I stepped on some freaking alien snot. Ah, uh, the snot. So you said they're using the... Oh! Yeah, I, I see, I bet they're I using, using the rail bridge. Okay. I, be, I, I have bet, I bet. ideas. Ideas are good. Let's see here. I am going to make a little miniature fortress. <laughs> nice. Gates will, like, always open for trains, right? Like, I don't need to have any weird signals or anything. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it's like, please don't tell me I'm about to kill all the trains that come through here. No, and if there's a gate that's sealed by wire logic, um, trains will stop at it. Cool. I don't think the bugs are going to have an easy time getting through this. Nice. I really hope. <laughs> they do all be sad and confused. <laughs> I mean, it looks well fortified from the map view. I seem to get it all powered. Yo. Be back in a bit. All right. See you, killer. Today involved a dragon lady, a spider human hybrid. Not proud of that one. And the sna uh, the snake lady from Elden Ring, which I stand by firmly. Wait, excuse me. <laughs> Wait, the snake lady. Oh, the lady that's got to eat all the jello. Oh, listen, man. I st stand by that shit. Actually, it doesn't seem like the bugs did all that much damage. Like, a lot of what they destroyed, I think, was just belts. Yeah. Okay. So, wait, it would be 2 divided by 3 times 32 divided by 0.5. So right now, this would support 42 factories for, all right, so that's, I think that's more than enough. Yeah, and you can pile extra wood into a warehouse if you want. Math with metal music, that is exactly what this is. <laughs> mm, yeah. I think I'm going to do exactly what you just said. I'm going to pile this all into a freaking warehouse while I'm building this up. Heck yeah. Consequently, math and metal music is also what my day at work usually looks like. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, like one day my boss was like, are you just always over here just like rocking out to metal and just doing accounting stuff? And I'm like, yep, that's pretty much 
my day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> right on. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we're going to load a bunch of wood into this guy. Um, Alright, so next step is... Uh, how did I have this set up before? So each of these needs... What? For real? <laughs> Damn it! Hmm. So they're hitting it but not getting oh, through it, right? They are. I, I, it's because of the way I, you know what, whatever. The turrets will die eventually and then they'll get to like just a spot that blows them all up. And by that I mean like all the enemies will just explode. I hope. Because okay. right now I think what's happening is spitters are coming over and they're taking out like the onesie twosie turrets that are kind of at the yeah. outskirts of the sea. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, so rather than correcting it, I'm just going to like let them do their thing and just whatever. <laughs> uh, so we can do wood and iron on one and then copper cables on the other, and that should be fine. So... Actually, wait a minute. No, we don't need to do copper cables. Instead, we want to do... How did I set it up with the other place? I think, didn't we set up the other um, circuit makers like similar to how we had it previously where it's like a kind of tiered system? I think so, with direct insertion for the copper cables. Yeah. Because we have a nice um, clean ratio for that. What's this? Oh, this is requesters. Okay. Yeah, it, it probably, unless you want to use bots for that one, I wouldn't imitate the um, the requester based one. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do entirely. Uh, what you call it here? So we're gonna go one, two, and then one. Skip the thing. One, two. One. Done making your murder thing happen already, or no? I'm okay. I have to investigate this because now I'm really surprised they're actually managing to kill this. Yeah, because they should all be on the track, like the east side of it. Yeah, and also like all the bugs should Did be they... getting super murdered by the train if it goes across. <laughs> I could send it across and see what happens. Oh. Maybe I failed to power everything? What the fuck is happening? Oh, are we out of power? Uh, we might have had a brownout. Uh, oh, I think I think this is... Oh, God. I think I think I know what happened. <laughs> Shit. I am, they kill I am one a of the fool. Power poles? No, no. So, <laughs> you know that little tiny they... power network you've got? Oh, they're all feeding off those six solar panels. <laughs> yes, I think that's what I did on accident. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is that is the best way to do it. He's like when when the when the dirt dirt herbs kept coming. Yep, that's exactly what I am. So stupid. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I did the same thing earlier. I tried to power a radar off it. I'm like, why is it not working? Oh, all right. That should be better. Yeah, because this should be connected to the entirety of the network. All right. Okay, that's way better. Uh, you have a somewhat soundproof room, so whenever someone needs me, it's like everyone just hears muffled noises uh, in a beat, and then they open the door, and everyone hears like a burst of just remedy scent, and the sky falls in treason, torn by the liars in, uh, in tea back uh, to muffled. And I've had at least one person go, can you tell me the name of that dwarf digging song? <laughs> <laughs> the Diggy Diggy Hole. Okay, that's way better. Yeah. All right, now we'll see for real. Okay, so there, there's a there's a, um, a rail that got busted, and I, I don't have the rails. To, actually, let me see if I have enough stuff in my inventory to make this. Um... I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. A diggy diggy hole. A diggy diggy hole. 
Life underground. I don't remember all the lyrics. Neither I think it I. is just diggy diggy hole. Yeah. Uh, it's like literally my favorite thing about that was uh, the video that I saw of this like huge metal concert and like just a sea of metal heads doing like like pantomiming shoveling and singing that song. <laughs> Can you tell me the name of that dwarf digging song? Careful with digging too greedily and too deep. Yes, this is very true. You must be careful about digging too greedily and too deep. Metal shanties in Gaelic and uh, Celtic folk music? Fuck yeah. Okay, so this has got to be uh, coils. This has got to be circuits. Um, more flammables. Thanks for the shout out, Flame Sire. Hell more yeah. More flammables. Yes. Uh, all right, so now we need to do like so. Oh, my bot dies every couple of months. Yeah, the are you using, um, Streamlabs Stream bot is. Yeah, guy, yeah, it has a it has a habit of doing that. Wait, didn't we? I feel like this was more condensed previously. Wait, but this, what is this, this makes like what does it do? Eight Sh shouldn't times? it be three to two, or is it a different ratio on Krastis? Streamlabs faking deaths like a possum. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Zano. I feel like I am constantly confusing my boss because, like, um... Actually, wait, don't we need less than this? Uh, so, like, one day he'll hear me listening to metal, and then he'll walk by and hear, like, this really calming stuff, and he's like, what the fuck? I'm just like, listen, man, sometimes I need some zen, you know? I need to not be in, like, rage accounting mode and instead be in, like, chill accounting mode. That's what this makes. Eight every two... This requires four every two, so actually it's reversed. Okay. It's wait, right? Oh, posture check. Sit up straight. Every two. Yeah, it should be. Oh, okay. Let's redo this. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> I will go from listening to Doom 2016 soundtrack to listening to Claire de Lune. Well, not Claire de Lune, but like I was listening to the Tunic soundtrack today. Which, very good. Okay, so this is going to be the cables. And then the two that are offset from that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so much more compact. Musical whiplash. Uh, well, wait a minute. So, uh, what is it? A red belt carries 15 items per side per second, right? Or is it... Yes, because it's twice as fast as a yellow. All right, so the, the carrying statistics for a belt is for the total. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so yellow belts carry 7.5 per side or 15 total. Red belts carry 30, 30 total, and as you said, 15 per side. Okay. Uh, so that means... Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the supply side of this. Uh, so... Each belt would be able to supply... So we're using how much per second here? Okay, the bridge lasers are totally doing their job now. Excellent. All they needed was juice. Yay, juice! The juicy, juicy electricity juice. Oh yeah, I can see all the biters getting roasted from a distance. Very nice. Oh, I want to see this. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorge. I love how every single one of uh, Windrose's comment sections on YouTube. They're a metal band that does a bunch of dwarf mining songs. Every top comment is Rock and Stone Brothers. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Nice. 
So actually 30 of these at once? What? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not possible. No, no, no. Um, because each then we wouldn't be able to supply these guys. Because each of these takes four, so that's four. A eight, whip that's made out of four, musical 16, notes. 20. It's like if Ivy from Soul Calibur went into Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey. The one where Mickey Mouse has a paintbrush and that's his like weapon and defense. I don't recall this, but I'll tell you what I did think. Mickey nah. Mickey hole. <laughs> <laughs> I am a mouse with the... No. 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 Mm -mm. <laughs> Mickey Mickey hole. <laughs> okay, you can do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what else did I want? Stuff, maybe also things. I show care for the TOS. <laughs> I show care for TOS, just not Disney's TOS. Mm, then... What the heck is this? Oh, oh it's probably it's little... like one of my radar outposts. Oh yeah, it looks like there was like a little redoubt out there. It's getting munched on. No one cares about Disney's TOS. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? What? What next? So oh, I should fix. Put... Wait, do I have? It's... Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Should fix the uranium mine. Oh, shit. I need to come back and get inserters and other stuff. Which means I'm going to put down more solar panels. Do we have just a gonna place? Try to make... hmm? To put uranium ore? Uh, I don't think we have a specified place for it yet. Shit, now I am a mouse and I... Mickey Mickey <laughs> stuck in my brain. Crap. I suppose making a hole makes it not so... I am a mouse and I'm making a hole. There we yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stupid mouse song, get out of Noda's brain. <laughs> Maybe not with the blunt force trauma. Oh, a bunch of our filters aren't functioning. What's going on with that? Mouse do be making holes. They do. Ah! Come You're on. You're right there. Uh, the train keeps running away from me. I'm trying to extend oh. it. <laughs> and it's it's got a condition of like leave when the train is empty. And because it has no cargo on it, it's always empty. <laughs> It's a runaway train. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come to me, robots. What? Yes. Never turn it back. Alright. Uh. Crackly, crackle, crackle, crackle. Where shall I put uranium? This is Jefferson, my pan elemental. He doesn't bite. Woof. <laughs> he 
He spits. Does he spit hot fire? Most annoying enemies ever. Yeah, enemy... Uh, ranged enemies are always the worst. Alright. Like scavengers in Rain World. They're the worst. Mm. I still need to get back to playing that. I, I haven't played it in ages. Oh, that's so good. I know Killer still has to finish his Spearmaster campaign. I like Stairmaster, but with spears. I mean, honestly, at the end, it kind of feels like it. Fucking bars hit it, Jefferson. Let's go. <laughs> you alert a, pale, a pain elemental and don't kill it. He'll fill a level with lost souls. They're assholes. That is pretty awful. Hmm. Yeah, because it, it, it just spits one out every three to five seconds, I think. Yeah. That, I mean, that that sounds about right. Like enemies that spawn other enemies are the worst enemies. It's like the opposite of people who eat people are the luckiest people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> people who eat people are the luckiest people. Oh, man. I learned that one from PJ. <laughs> Why does this not surprise me in the least? <laughs> Sounds like a highly PJ thing to say. fill in later when they die they spawn three more that's just awful why do I feel like this has got to be something that uh, game the game has done where the dude just like let a pain elemental fill up a level with lost souls it's like this is the same dude that went and made like the weirdest like whirlwind belt thing in satisfactory that he could so bad that he could not look at it or it would, like, freeze his computer. Go. <laughs> oh. Do I not have these on a request? What? If I remember right, I think it was uh, Cake that turned me on to this dude. Bridget, hello. Can you please increase your base efficiency and decrease its inefficiency? <laughs> so what is this? Oh my god, <laughs> I don't, that is, that is a hell of an emote, my friend. <laughs> Holy shit, I, I, you know, there's a lot of inefficiency here, and I think that, uh, just, just, just blame just, me for all of it. <laughs> no, oh god, no, I couldn't, I could not. Chad has seen my spaghetti, they understand. Spaghetti. <laughs> They love the spaghettes. Mm -hmm. It's not to love. Exactly. It's really pasta. Yeah, I mean, unless you got like Hashimoto's or something, then I guess you don't like spaghetti, but like whatever, you know? <laughs> I'm sure there are alternative spaghettis. Oh, yeah. Well, because what is it? Like, uh, even with Hashimoto's, things like rice are fine, I think? Or, okay. wait, I, I don't remember. Because I think Hashimoto's is like a gluten intolerance. I, I, I should know more about this. My brother-in-law has Hashimoto's. So, like, I, I should understand better what it is. But a lot of times I'm just like, it's, if it comes from a plant and it's not green, he probably doesn't want it. <laughs> okay, so it's it's more than than celiac. Um, I'm actually not sure. Uh, it's I think celiac is actually worse. Mm. Um, but I think it's like... Uh, 
I don't know. He he went paleo, so I'm just like, I, you know, he he eat meat and doesn't afraid of anything is how I look at him. So <laughs> <laughs> they do worst things ever since Plutonia, one of Doom 2's expansions. They make you fight in an arena, fill it with corpses, and uh, then when you leave, they spawn an arch vial. And have oh, that raises revived. all the oh. oh. Oh my god. Arch files, man. Arch files are the fucking worst. So we oh yes, I've got him now. Sick. I've, I've got, got more filtration plants than I can ever use. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing just, here. I'm just realizing I'm gonna have to set up another pogification station. Pogify all the things. Yes. Where is that blueprint for the pogification station? Not you, is it? Oh, no, it is. All right, cool. So, Frigid, I have to ask. I'm assuming that you are a Factorio person. You know, one must not assume. Sometimes people do just be showing up and being like, hey, efficiency and stuff. I just, I love the line from the Long Kiss Goodnight. You know what they say about making assumptions? Makes an ass out of you and umption. <laughs> I mean, very highly true. <laughs> okay, let's see what our power is looking like now. 42. Okay, so we do still need more accumulators. That's fine. Celiac is absolutely nothing at all. Not a gluten, which means no wheat, oatmeal, barley, or rye. Damn. That is, as the children say, a lessuck. Mm. Is that kind of like LeChuck from um, <laughs> Monkey Island? I've actually never played Monkey Island. The remake is pretty good. Yeah. And, and, like, just the the writing is, like, it's a little juvenile in spots, but it's fun. All right. I mean, I can totally get down with that. I mean, like, I can't think of a good example of a game like that that I have enjoyed with, like, you know, somewhat uh, adolescent, well, not adolescent writing, but, like, you know, that, that kind of humor. But I, I, I know I would like it. <laughs> yeah. And some of it's subtle too. Like there's, there are some puns that sneak up on you, and there's, there's some <laughs> stuff that's just sort of like a little bit Dadaist, bizarro. But it's, it's a fun game. All right. Wait, did they already repopulate? What the bugs? bugs? How dare! Yeah, I was gonna say I, I have no doubt that they did because they just they are very fecund. <laughs> mm. Just take your fecundity and <laughs> stick it. <laughs> <laughs> fecund is such a great word, but I always yeah. feel like weird when I say it. I don't know. There's like no. a part of me that just feels strange saying it. The only point-and-click adventure you had played back then were Grim Fandango and Salmon Max. I mean, Salmon Max and Monkey Island have very similar feels, in my opinion, even though the settings are completely different. But like some of those, some of those LucasArts point-and-click are just works of art. There are some words where the weirder you feel when you're saying them, the better. And oh, yes. Infecund is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. The indie ones were all right. They they were they were well written, but some of the puzzles were a little obscure.
You ever play uh, King's Quest? I love the King's Quest series. We, yeah. I, my sister and I played King's Quest 3 over and over and over again. And then I went back and played some of the earlier ones, but like 3 and 4 were were definitely my jam. Good old Perils of Rosella. I think the last one I played was 8, and it was like... You know, I don't think I mid. played... <laughs> The, the when they started doing sort of the 3D graphics, I don't think I played any of those ones. Yeah. I just remember my mom always being like, it's the combat part, here, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, because you had like an owl or something? Oh, I don't really remember. I just remember that like your character was very like cuboid. Hmm. Yo. Like Virtua Fighter? Oh, that artillery! Delicious. Yeah, it's it is it is ripping up that. Uh, it's it's like it's out of the automatic range, but it's within remote Yo, directed did range. Did the bugs make a fucking Wu Tang Clan symbol out of their nest? They like, absolutely did. <laughs> Holy crap! You you're so right. <laughs> Creep rules everything around me. <laughs> <coughs> oh man. That that was extremely pog reference. <laughs> uh, did I make a thing for this? I don't think I did. What the fuck? Back when the first Indiana Jones adventure game came out, there's a story of Steven Spielberg really enjoying it and calling those hotlines for game tips of LucasArts often just to ask about random stuff. Oh my god, that's <laughs> awesome. And now I'm remembering the old hint books. You could like buy a hint book that came with a special yellow marker that would unhide the in invisible ink. And so you got to choose the degree of, of spoileriness. Yeah, see, I, th I feel like that's the kind of like um, nostalgia, I guess is what I would call it, that, uh, that Tunic kind of like really gets the core of. Hell yeah, absolutely. Like, they, they went for it, and they nailed it. Oh, yeah. Like, I, honestly, I, there's just... There's so much great shit about that game. I, I really, like... I think forever, if somebody's like, oh, what kind of, like, you know, weird puzzle or... Like, like if somebody tells me, like, I like Zelda and puzzle games, I'd be like, Tunic. Just fucking play Tunic. <laughs> play Tunic, yeah. Ah, oh, crap. You, you know, I should go back and see if there's a... Is there a difficulty setting on the combat? Yes. Because I might have picked normal, and maybe if I picked easy, it would have been better. Yeah. I, I, I think it is actually specific for combat, too, that it, it doesn't, like, change any of the other stuff. Um, cool. Or, like, I, I think it actually calls it, like, combat complexity. Which I think just really means, like, more probably more iframes on dodges, which is like, yeah, why the fuck not? <laughs> Uh, and also, um, I don't know, like, some of the enemies just feel like they're just absolute scumbags. Mm -hmm. I love that mental image, Flame Scion. <laughs> Hold on, it's Steven again. Hi, Steven. Yes, Steven, the rock moving to the sides was bait. No, Steven, you don't softlock for not getting that item. <laughs> yes, Steven, Indy's hat is genuine leather in this game. All right, goodbye, Steven. Oh, <laughs> it's... terrified now about turning on big mining areas. I think I'm just gonna... The, the power draw? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna, like, set up the poles and then, uh, for, like, a bunch of these different, like, the, the copper pogification station and then also the, um... 
uh, like the copper mining, and then just I don't know, like not actually do anything with it right away. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so this needs to flip. Wait, does it need to flip? Yes. Oh no, there's tracks. <laughs> that's right. I'll put this yep, further away. Uh, don't. Oh, yeah, I can also move the tracks. No, no, that's just fine. That's fine. Are my artillery loop. It is going to be weird seeing this in reverse, though. Mm. This is like my, my brain doesn't always work that way. We're like, you know, if I see something upside down, it takes me a minute to figure out where I'm supposed to be doing things. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I sh I know what I should do. Not this, that's for sure. Something other than this. Yeah. My community that still plays Star Siege Tribes somehow? I mean, honestly, I'm not super surprised by that. Tribes Ooh. is very beloved. I remember absolutely adoring that game back in the day. It's a good game. Yeah. I mean, I was terrible at it, but... Oh, big same. It's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> big same. Like, I, I had such a hard time even figuring out what the fuck I was supposed to do at first. Uh, there we go. So I want to turn this like that. Right? Um, yes. Okay, I now have the much more acceptable I am a dwarf and a diggy diggy hole stuck in my head. Okie dokie. <laughs> Somebody was telling me a certain Queen song is great for dispelling earworms. It, it might be Don't Stop Me Now. Ah! Having such a good time. Having a ball. Ironic at the, that the song about not stopping <laughs> can stop earworms. Yep. Can't stop me now unless it's for earworms. <laughs> Am I already out of pipes? No, no, no. Oof. Oh, wow. Robots, you're... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't What's realize that my fuel's almost gone in my backpack. Uh, uh, Which, you uh, gotta get the... Hmm? Hmm? Sweet little smoke rings coming out of your smokestack. Yeah. Alright, of course I need more power. Yeah. The robots aren't going to be doing shit. Freya, doesn't one of the uh, mod packs have, like, jet packs? Yes. I wonder how that even works in this 2D environment. Um, I mean, it kind of, like, moves you up, but your shadow stays where it is. Hmm. And you technically end up on a different surface. Interesting. But you can like fly over all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice. All right. Do we know how to make nuclear reactors yet? Uh, I think we so. Do. We do, we do, we do. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the only thing nuclear that we don't have yet is Covarex, and that's because we have to do the purple science things, which requires uranium. So I think after I get the Pogification Station 
and all this other stuff set up for the chips. Um, maybe that's what I'll work on. Is actually maybe I could work on that in the meantime. So I still have to wait for like a bunch of stuff to show up in my inventory. Yeah, Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I haven't looked at the code for the jetpack mod, but it it does some nifty sort of smoke and mirrors. I forget, didn't you make one of those charging stations down below somewhere? Uh, yeah, I haven't really used it much, but okay. uh, there's a bunch of Tesla towers okay. by the, the road. Do, do you know, does that actually charge up, like, our power armor, or does it only charge up, like, vehicles? You would have to have a receiver in your power armor, and those oh, receivers are... Right. I guess they're not huge. Uh, they would be in the military tab, wouldn't they? Energy absorber is 2x2, two two, so it's the same size as a small engine or a large solar panel. Cool. Uh, you can only have one per grid. Ah. But now that you mention it, I might... Because, like, when I play, um... Dyson Sphere program, that is like my main way of refueling my mech. It's just like running past Tesla Towers? Yeah. Because otherwise it just it takes forever. So let's see if we are right, receiving that. I just that. slotted one in my grid. Although I'm not down any power right now. It does shoot lightning bolts at you. Wait, like, in this game, it shoots lightning bolts at you when you go by? Yeah. That's freaking cool. Now I wish to participate in this lightning bolt throwing chicanery. Yeah. Grab a receiver. There's plenty on the network. Are there? Well, then. What does a receiver look like? It's like a donut. The energy absorber? Energy absorber, yeah, it's like a wow. pineapple upside down cake. I did not realize that we can make very large personal battery twos. Yes, I think they are on the mall as well. Excellent. Oh, glorious mall. He's good. So wait, do we have the... Okay, we do have big personal battery ones, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take those, dump them in here. Where'd they go? Where did they go? <laughs> what? What the heck? Mm -hmm. Trying to. I don't see them, but I know I got them because I just put them in my freaking inventory. Regular batteries. You don't have a disposal order for them, do you? I shouldn't. I see big personal batteries in your inventory. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> like, I, I'm having such a hard time seeing it. I don't know why. You can control F and it'll uh, type in the name and it'll highlight things. Oh, thank you. Oh, there it is. All right, sick. 
Okay, so now I want to put that in here. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I, I guess I should just put these in the freaking purchases request. What the heck? Where are they what? going? Uh, oh, something. something's probably demanding. Oh, are, am I demanding them? I might be. Hang on, I gotta deal with bugs first. Okay. No worries. I actually forgot what else I was here. Oh, right, a receiver. Uh, or the, the energy donut. Energy donut. Where is energy donut? Well, it is in the network somewhere. See what this energy receiver thingy does. So there are Tesla towers down. Uh, where it's south. paved. Okay. Yo, that's sick. That is so cool. And is it doing it pretty fast? Like when I went, I didn't have much uh, power that I needed. It's. Uh, It's like 2% per second. Okay, so 50 seconds to fill from dead empty to full. Yeah, if, and that's, it, it, that's if you don't have any other power generation, too. But, I mean, that's also with three very big batteries. Fair enough. That's pretty sick. God, I'm so fast on this concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Forget if we can make even better concrete. I think there is like a super like hyperpog concrete or something, right? It's, uh... Yeah, reinforced plate has 175 compared to 150 on the fancy concrete. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, so if we are going to make purple science, it needs uranium, the blank tech cards, fast transport belts. Hmm. All right. Can I get the uranium drop-off station set up? Uh, does it need processed uranium, like U-235 or U-238? It says U-238. Okay, so that's the easy kind to get, but it's it we, it still does need processing. Okay. So, um, in your opinion, would it make sense to have this fed by robots? Have which? Oh, the, the science. Yeah, the purple science cards. I think I think that would make very good sense. Okay. So I'm just thinking, like, trying to get all this shit over here is going to be exhausting. <laughs> yeah, if it's easier to do it with bots than with belts, then. So, let's see here. I need... All right, I should also turn the gun turrets to zeros. Is this 
one that'll take those? Or is this one that will make those? I, I need you to make them, okay. So let's make sure that I'm actually in the robo network. Yes, okay. Uh. belt and front heavy module one. Okay, I think I need to make something that's going to uh Create blank tech cards, maybe. Yeah, because there's not much in the network. That's going to be easy peasy, though, because I'm pretty sure these are super fast to make. Yeah, it's just iron and copper. It's like literally the old green circuits. Nice. are the passive providers. Um, actually, do I have something that's just making blank? Yeah, you guys are making blank tech cards, right? So, if I were to do something like... Three spaces, right? So it would be like... Yeah. And then... You here... And there they go. Okay. 
okay, what else is having supply issues here? Okay, so it looks like uh, productivity modules and uranium are the only things that we have like kind of a shortage of in the network currently. All right. Um, let me see about the what did I say productivity modules. I thought we're making productivity modules non mall somewhere. Yes. So well, we're only making them tier one. Yeah, if I recall correctly. That's actually all we need for the... Um, but are. I think something might be demanding them quite quickly. Okay. Hmm. So they require green circuits and electronic components, huh? So I think we have enough components, right? Yeah, okay, we're, we're flush with components. So the problem, okay, once again, this problem is green circuits, all right. <laughs> so back to green circuiting I go. Uh, do I have chemical plants? I have oil refineries for the chem plants. Really, we don't have any chem plants? Seems are we? Are we not making them on the mall? I thought we were, but it says that I don't have any, uh, like, satisfaction, so let me just take a quick peek. Can't get no satisfaction. Satisfaction. Bugs. Bugs can get satisfaction just by Apparently. eating radar. Those nom jerks. nom nom. Sorry. Oh, that's right. We have tier two radar now. We do. All right. I think I need to take a bunch of these and go and toss them out in the world, so we can have Bijan. Uh, good. Where does our vision start to collapse here? Out here. Okay. So if I put one over by the pocketification station, we should be good. Sounds about right. So is it like radar has a passive area that it's always covering, and then it like periodically has a, a like picks a point out in the world that it reveals, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see what can we do next that would be really nice. Do we have a more robot speed? Mm, we need purples for that. Okay, what the hell is up with this? Oh, right, we need quarry mining if we're going to do advanced fuel. Oh, because it requires immersite. Interesting. Mm. It seems to me that immersite is just one of those things that we're going to be, like, tossing into a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, probably. All right, and as promised, I need to put down more solar panels. This is off and it's gonna bother me. Crap. <laughs> Shit, oh, what no. did I do? Tear oh, the whole no. thing up and redo it. Yep. I mean, honestly, I'm considering it. <laughs> Just do it. The robots can handle it. Hmm. What the hell happened? There's something here that got misaligned. I just don't know where. Wait a minute. Here. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's just go from here out. All right, save. We don't have to do the whole thing; just part of it.
Oh, oh, you hit it before I did. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get you. What the heck happened here? Why did all my... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. All my... Uh, I think I must have pressed the button that like rearranged my, my hotkeys here. And oh. hot, not hotkeys, but the... Um, what do you call that? Oh, your toolbars. X, yeah. X will rotate through... Oh, I must have hit X at some point then. Yeah, so if you've got four, like, hitting X three more times should get it back to how you expect. You can also do, like, shift and a number, uh, like, zero through nine, and that will replace whatever's on top with that numbered hotbar. Oh, this layout makes so much more sense. Things are, like, actually together where they should be now. <laughs> <laughs> Radar is currently coming out to here. So if we go down here, we should get some more. Actually, I don't, how much energy does this thing take up? Two megawatts. All right, so that's the. Is that where is the sulfuric acid going? So I should put that in another tank, I think. Maybe a smaller one for the other pocketification station. system now. Alright. Do we know how to make purple chests yet? Uh, that is a great question. I'm not actually sure.
Looks like yes. Everything okay? Uh oh, what the heck's that? Oh. We're. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I think okay. I think just one of the areas needs some some turret fogging. Yeah. There's that one spitter that's having a really hard time getting in there. He's just very confused. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> Robots are taking U-238 somewhere. Let's go. Where is that? There it is. Sulfuric acid. Hmm? 
There should be... Oh, wait, that's right. We haven't actually uh, done the thing to, like, train it up, right? Well, so the I have a train station that picks it up, but... Um... Oh, I meant from the south area. Oh, yeah, no. Let's see. Looks like an output. Is that? Oh, that is more oil. Holy shit. Uh, I could probably pump that back into this, right? Yeah. All right, we also need a thing to pick up rocks. Pick up rocks? Yeah, from uh, the filtration oh. systems. Oh, because, yeah, it's output as a byproduct. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, it's it's not like a ton, but it is like enough to possibly be concerning. Well, not concerning, but, you know, something we might want to do something Worth about. Worth clearing up. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I mean, it's free resource. Well, I guess it's not entirely free, but you know what I mean. <laughs> It's resources that we would were making anyway, so may as well yeah, use them. Exactly. Did I do a good? I hope I did the right thing there. I'm Put sure some it's oil fine. pipes. I <laughs> just, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> just feeding oil places where it shouldn't be. <laughs> I, th I think it was meant to be an oil pipe. It just was like off by one. Wait, did I forget the... Oh, I think I did. <laughs> no, okay, we're good. Thank God. <laughs> Hooray. I thought I had... I thought I had uh, even though I said it, like, way earlier, where I was like, oh, yeah, I need to remember to set the limiter on that uh, chest for the, the greenhouses. I just <laughs> had this moment where I was like, oh, shit, did I not do that? And I, I totally did. So we're good, but damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> The hell is that? Uh, I set up an alert for. Uh... I'll turn off the sound though. <laughs> oh! 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 
I was like, man, that is pretty awesome that that sound is in this game, but like... <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, these freaking bugs, I swear to god. It's like, it, uh, it never, it never ends. Please tell me that's actually the train's name. Uh, I will. I will rename it. But I feel like we need to have a John Coltrane and an Alice Coltrane. Let's go. <laughs> I I wholeheartedly agree. Upgraded miners make a heck of a lot more noise than yeah. regular miners, yeah. They're, they're beefy. Yeah, I'm interested to see what the next tier does. But there's a next tier, isn't there? Mm, probably. Yes, electric mining drill, Mark Three. Let's go. All right. There's my artillery train. Hello, Shooty McShoot Face. Coming in the next one, Peppy Le Pew Pew. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna feed into these guys. All right, sick. Um, how stable is our power network? Would you say? Mm, I hadn't looked at it in a while, okay. so I'm not sure. All right, well, I guess it's time for a test. Okay, that turns on the Pogification Station. So I have been trying to put down a bunch of solar panels and accumulators like every time I come back to base. Yep. Like I just collect a bunch from the, the network and then just dump them all back in. That's right, because the new miners are actually half again as fast as the old ones, right? I think so. Yeah. They have, yep, a mining speed of 0.75. So presumably Mark 3s have a mining speed of at least 1.
All right, I probably need to let him burn off the excess. That should do it. We are pogifying some, some copper, and now we just need to smelt it. Uh, that's going to be the trick, I suppose. Getting smelters in place? Well, having enough power for the electric smelters. Oh, yeah. Well, do we have... Uh, I forget when U production and... Yeah. Production and satisfaction are... E oh, wait, right, because it's nighttime. I think I think I saw that we have like five thousand solar panels now. We're just short on uh, accumulators. Like, it, well, not short on accumulators, but we don't like we don't have as as many accumulators as we do uh, solar panels. Yeah, I think we want to keep that pretty close. Like within five hundred yeah. is okay at this point. Like we're within ten percent, but. Yeah. May as well keep them even. do love that we're making enough cliff explosives that I can just kind of like, not arbitrarily, but you know, just as I'm walking around, be like, oh look, a cliff, go away. <laughs> Don't like that cliff. Yeah. It's gone. And just never really have to worry about it. Delicious oh. cliff be gone. How dare they? What? Oh, it's outside the base. Okay. Yeah. That seems, that seems strange, though, right? Like, they usually don't care about the tracks. Yeah, I don't know why they they focused on the tracks. Let's see how this does. All right. Is the train sitting in stock? Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Oh, move your butt.
Whoa. Oh, they munch in the tracks again? Or what is this? Uh, the, the train's sitting on snot, and... I tried to save it, but I was too late. Ah. Alright, what does the grid look like here? All kinds of shenanigans. Oh no! Yeah, How the heck did they? Ah, these guys are so. F oh, I see. Dang There's it. a stretch a wall with no lasers on it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah um, I think uh, I think I'm gonna come and fill those in right now. It's like I'm hoping we have enough power. I don't really know if we do, but I'm I'm hoping that with the panels and stuff that I've been putting down, that we should be okay. I mean, at this point, with the alternative of, like, just putting down more, um, like, steam power even makes sense. Possibly, if we've got the fuel for it. Okay. Alright. Are we still out of chem plants? I'm not sure. I made a whole bunch by hand. Ah. Okay, so we got to like a little bit, a uh, little bit more than half of our accumulator charge uh, over overnight. Um, so I think that's a pretty good buffer, right? Like we basically have half of our accumulator charge just sitting there waiting to be used. Yeah, to that, to that suggests to me that we aren't using the full capacity. Like we're producing more energy overall than we need, more power yeah. than we need. Um, which is all right. That's, yeah. that's something to grow into. All right, so that tells me I can at least put down some Mech of the Marlazars. Yes, and also uh, electronic furnaces. Yes. So one of the areas was near the Pogification Station. So where's that? I think that's, yeah, there's the section right there. Oh, God damn it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, crap.
Just like, you know, it. <sighs> just wait till you have like six shield unit mark threes and you can just be like no not today train <laughs> not today so it, it strangely enough and this may not resonate with you just yet but i'm sure it will when you play more rain world i feel like the trains in this game are like drop wigs in rain world and All right. what i mean by that is they are a creature that i like i am hyper vigilant for until the moment i'm not and then that's when they're there and then they get you yep yeah uh, where did I die? Wait, we can see that in the... Where is that? Yeah, the, if you hit tilde to get the chat and then, like, click on it, it'll reping it. Okay. It's, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, okay, sweet. What the? Oh crap! I forgot I have a pistol. Dang it! Uh, is there a chest I can dump this trash into? Yellow chests are fine to just jump the pistol and the ammo into, yeah. Yeah. All right, sweet. Thrower? Flamer ammo. No, not that. Right there. Thank you. Alright, we have one piece of U-235. That's the one that we need for Covarex, yeah? And for uh, uh, vision? And nuclear power, yes. Oh man, that look! Ooh, I see those refineries going. Or uh, centrifuges, yeah. Uh, only the first five are actually built, but eventually we'll have more. So they also make stone and iron. Yeah, it's interesting. There's there's more byproducts now. Huh. So. Oh, interesting. So we could put that back into the refining process in principle yeah oh we're actually getting kind of our sulfuric acid production up north is getting kind of pooped yeah i was trying to diagnose that because i was like why why am i getting no sulfuric acid to the miners um yeah. and it's ultimately it, it, we're not producing enough um petroleum gas Okay. So, hmm. I don't know if we need more cracking, just more refineries, or what? Yeah. Don't kill me, train. Oh, right, I was up here so I could put down more turrets. <laughs> Wait, can you not rename locomotives? Bah. They have names, but you can't change them. That's lame. Yeah. Unless. wall should be defended now once I connect this to the power. Sweet. Now it's just a question of the lower section, right? Yeah. 
these dead? Oh, these are dead. We need more oil wells. So there are a few out in um, where I was building the new uh, the circuit factory. Like there's four spots. Oh, actually, there's more than that up north. There's a, there's a few more. Um, so it's like 1.4 million. So there's like 2.8 million oil out there, uh, which we All can right. probably tap pretty easy. Um, well, I mean, That's I know we good. can tap it pretty easy because there's, there's no, like, bugs are nowhere near us. <laughs> They're all behind very large walls of turrets. Yep. Um, but then after that, there's like 900,000 outside. What the heck is that? Oh, oh rare minerals. Okay. Um, there's a 2.4 million patch uh, south of us. Like, way south. Just made some good old steaks with honey mustard. That sounds delicious. Another patch at 2.1. It certainly seems like the amount of resources kind of increase as we get further away from where we started. I think Cover like, um, Crestorio does that on purpose. Yeah. So, let's see. You forgot to take pictures of yesterday's Fugazetta? Well, I mean, oh, well, I was going to say now's the best time, but you, you probably already consumed it. <laughs> Has it been eaten? Oh, yes. Please do, Flame, please do. Because the last one you showed me, I mean, that thing looked freaking wonderful. Full of ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. And onion. Just put down turrets, I'll be so upset. Oh, oh. what the heck? They killed the artillery train! <laughs> no, Arthur! <laughs> oh. I always associate artillery with the name Arthur. This, okay. uh, we actually knew a guy named Art um, who lived across the street from us in Illinois who used to mm -hmm. uh, be the gunner for a, uh, it wasn't a paladin, it was a toad. Uh, which just, it looks like a massive Abrams tank, but it's an artillery piece. Okay. Um, I remember him showing us pictures, and it was like, my man, you don't even come up to the top of the treads, and this dude was like 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> Poor Thomas had so many shells to give that he did.
Actually, wait, what the hell am I talking about? It's almost 9.30. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, let me just get to uh, the dead train so I remember what I'm doing. Okay. Looking for a picture of a Fugazetta so that I can witness the greatness. I mean, it sounds delicious from what Noter described. It is. It, it looks amazing. Because, like, what was it? It's like... It's like a bunch of cool shit inside, and then it's topped with like onions. It just nice. it's it seems like one of the greatest things that's ever been created by mankind. Like Very not nice. to oversell it, but <laughs> <laughs> it is mind blowing. Yes. All right, one more train trip, and then I'll be ready to pause. All right. No path. No path. They, like, eat the... It is our flagship pizza. Mm. Now I'm just imagining an actual flagship named pizza. These are the voyages of the starship <laughs> Fagazetta. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> our mission to boldly go. To pog where no man has pogged before. <laughs> the Fagazetta will... Serve justice. <laughs> All right, almost there. Almost there. Okay, I'll click on that link as soon as we pause the game. Hell yeah! Right. Well, you said you're almost there. Or you are there. I am there. Excellent. All right, y'all. I'm just gonna take off. Have a very good evening. I will hopefully see you tomorrow for some bear trauma. Uh, thanks for being here. Bye. Oh, that looks...